This program is sponsored by the partners and friends of Redeemer's Voice Media. This week I want us to open the book of 2 Timothy chapter number 3. Jumaila nataka tufungue katika Timotheo wa pili sura ya tatu. I want us to look at a few things this week concerning ma matters relating to the end times. Kwa hivyo nataka Jumaili tukue muda kuangalia masala yanayohusu nyakati za mwisho. The Bible says verse 1, but realize this that in the last days difficult times will come. Lakini fahamuni neno hili ya kuwa siku za mwisho kutakuwako na nyakati za hatari. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, malicious, gossip, gossipers without self-control. They'll be brutal haters of good treacherous reckless conceited lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God holding to a form of godliness although they have denied its power always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth this morning or this afternoon I want to uh, talk on the topic expect the best as you brace for the worst. Nataka mchano leo tushiriki somo ambalo nimepeana kichwa taraji mema wakati ambapo unajihami kwa mabaya. As the Bible says in the book of Timothy where we have read Na kama vile maandiko emetuambia katika Timotheo tulikosoma that in the last days there will be perilous times. Yasema kwamba nyakati za mwisho kutakuwako na nyakati za hatari. There will be difficult times. Zitakuwa ni siku ngumu mno. You bear me witness where we are globally today we are not living in very pleasurable days. Utakubaliana nami nyakati hizi Ulimwenguni kote nyakati tunaboishi sio za amani vile ama mazuri. Many people are living a life of anxiety and fear and harassed because of the situations around them. Na watu wengi wanaishi katika hali ya sitofahamu, wasiwasi mwingi na hali ambaye haipendezi sio na starehe. There is increase in all kinds of things diseases, sufferings, pain, lack of money and schools are closed and we are just a few months into this issue. Na angalia tuaishi nyakati ambapo uh, kila kitu kama kimefungana na sasa hata shule zikafunga na tumekuwa katika hii hali ni siku chache tu tumekuwa katika hii hali lakini nikana kwamba kila kitu kimesimama. So we need to know that this is part of the characteristics of the end times. Na hii ni moja wapo ya tabia ama sifa za nyakati za mwisho. Paul speaking to us in the scripture we have read he is giving us some of the characteristics of the end of the age to help us understand that this is what will begin to happen in our time. Na Paulo ana katika andiko tulolisoma anajaribu kutueleza dalili ama zile sifa za nyakati za mwisho. He says difficult times will come. Anasema nyakati za hatari zitakuja. Men will be lovers of themselves. Watu watakuwa wenye kujipenda wenyewe. Lovers of money. Wapenda fedha. People who are boastful. Watu wa kujisifu. Arrogant. Wenye kiburi. Disobedient to their own parents. Wa, sio wati wasasi wa, wazazi wao. Uh, ungrateful. Wasio na shukrani. Unholy. Wasio safi. Unloving. Wasio penda wakwa. Unforgiving. Wasio taka kufanya suluhu. Malicious gossipers. Wasingiziaji. Without any self-control. Wasio jizuia. And so forth and so forth. Na zaidi. So these are the characteristics that we are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. 
lives in the lives of people we have had uh, so many people who are self selfish lovers of themselves and so many of the things that the bible has recorded so this is to tell us that we are in the season of the prophetic significance as the children of the almighty God we have to be uh, set and to be aware that the times are not good but at the same time for those who are waiting for Jesus things are going to make become better and better na hivyo sisi kama watu lazima kuelewa na kufahamu kwamba mambo hayatakuwa rahisi vile tunavyofikiria lakini kwetu nasi tunayemtumania Yesu Kristo tunakaa tukitarajia mema the reason is god knows how to deliver his own from every persecution and tribulation sababu ni kwamba mungu anajua jinsi ya kuwaokoa walio wakwake he will not allow you to suffer beyond that which you are able to bear. Naye hata kuruhusu uteseke kupita vipimo ambavyo una uwezo wa kustahimili. He will give you ways of escape from death. Bwana atakupa njia za kuepuka mauti. If you keep your eyes focused on him. Iwapo utaweka macho yako kwa Mungu. At the time that we are living in, we are now seeing a convergence of the end time signs. As, prof, uh, as prophesied in the Bible. Nyakati na mwishi, tunaona ubirisho wa dalili za nyakati za mwisho kama ilivyo tabiriwa. And these are reminding us that we are actually drawing closer and closer to the end. Na hii inatukumbusha na kutuonyesha kwamba tunakaribia mwisho na mwisho kabisa. We are seeing the escalation of the end time storms. Na tunaona a uh, shida nyingi zikiongezeka za nyakati za mwisho. The COVID-19 pandemic is a platform a, a platform that will determine how and when various components intended to bring uh, to a finality of the end time prophecy. This is why you are seeing it covering like a mighty wind across the globe. Na utapata kwamba COVID-19 ni jukwaa kubwa ambalo litakwenda kudhihirisha na kudhihiri mambo makubwa ambayo yatatuelekeza mwisho ndio sababu unaiona ikitambaa kama upepo mkali ukivuma juu ya inch, eh, taifa uh, ulimwengu mzima the final assembly of satanic strategists is in place na uh, tunaona uh, njama na mbinu zote za kishetani na mikakati zikiwekwa Pamoja. and is in full speed ahead implementing that which was spoken by Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ the prophets and the apostles concerning the events of the end time na inakuja kwa kasi huku ikibiri mambo yote yaliye tabiriwa na manabi na Yesu Kristo na hata mitume kwa habari ya dalili za siku za mwisho behind this storm the agents of the end time and a end time evil against humanity are hastily engineering and urgently strategizing on how to unveil the major platforms upon which the antichrist will operate na nyuma yoyote inayofanyika katika covid 19 tunaona wale mawakala wa giza wakiweka mikakati na mbinu zao ambazo mwisho wake zitakuja kumfunua yule mtu wa dhambi aitwaye mpinga Kristo. This pandemic is setting the pace. Na janga hili la COVID linawekwa mwendo kasi. And is shaping things that will determine how the nations of the world will be governed. Na kuweka miundo misingi jinsi mataifa ya ulimwengu yatakavyotawaliwa na kuongozwa and more so how the true church of Jesus Christ will arise out of the rubbles of this end time and begin to shine as the scriptures have said na zaidi sana ni kanisa la Yesu Kristo jinsi litakavyoamka kutoka katika vifusi vya haya mambo ya matukio ya nyakati za mwisho na kuwa nyota itakayewaka how prepared you are will determine how you will survive this season 
jinzi ulivyo jianda ndivyo itaamua utakavyoweza stahimili nyakati hizi za mwisho as a child of god you are required to prepare yourself to this uh, uh, towards this emerging changes in worship in how we are going to fellowship with one another because things have changed na kama kanisa ni sharti kujiandaa ili kwamba tuweze kujua jinsi vile tutakavyo jimudu kusimama katika kuabudu katika kuhusiana pamoja na katika kushirikiana how congregations will begin to meet again we don't know we are uncertain but every believer must brace themselves not only to stand in faith but also to be ready to be the witness that the Lord Jesus Christ has called you to be jinsi vile tutarejelea mikutano zetu hatujui ni lini tuko katika hali ya sintofahamu lakini la muhimu wewe kwa kila mkristo lazima ujiandae si tu kusimama kwa imani peke yake lakini jinsi utakavyojihami kukabiliana na na yajayo mpaka atakapokuja Yesu Kristo the true believers of Christ must awake from heavy slumber Waaminio wa kweli wa Kristo sharti kuamka katika usingizi ule mzito. We should no longer live presumptuously. Tusiishi katika maisha ya kudhani ama ya dhanio. There are things around you that are taking a new dimension day after day. Yapo mambo kwako ambayo yanachukua mkondo tofauti siku baada ya nyingine. The conspiracy that is taking place on the face of the earth I want you to know that you as a believer you are also designed to be a victim if you are not going to be alert and sober in these last days. Jama ambazo zinatukia duniani zimekusudiwa kwamba zikutie wewe Mkristo uwe mwasiriwa iwapo wewe hautakuwa macho makinifu kuweza kuyatambua mambo hayo. Remember in these last days the proponents of this new world order they are working on having a new uh, a, a, an organized religion that is going to be a one world religion and if you are going to be part of it i'm sorry but if you are going to stand as a child of the living god i assure you be ready for persecution basi nataka uelewa ya kwamba wale watu ambao wanasukumia ili jambo la kuwa na utawala mpya wa ulimwengu wanahakikisha kwamba wanataka waweze kubuni kanisa moja ambalo litakuwa linasimamia ulimwengu wote mzima na wewe kama mtoto wa Mungu usipoelewa utajipata ndani basi shauri yako lakini iwapo itabidi usimame imara inamaanisha kwamba utapitia udhia You need to know that nations have already begun this movement. There are places where already agreements and covenants have been signed to have a one world religion. Nataka uelewe kwamba mataifa tayari wanatia sahihi na tayari muundo msingi imewekwa kwa kuweza kukua na dini ya ulimwengu mzima. So this situation we are in is yet to make full impact upon this generation. Na kwa hivyo unachokiona kikiendelea kinaendelea kuhakikisha kwamba tumefikia ule mfumo wa dini ama kanisa moja duniani. I say again this situation is yet to make a full impact. Nasema kwamba hii hali tunayoipitia sasa ni bado lakini baadaye itafikia utimilivu wa kuweza kuleta mambo hayo because the wrath of this pandemic and its power is yet to be felt in the church makali ya hii janga bado haijaisika kanisani lakini bado itaisika yet many believers are living as though things are the same and life remains as usual we are not bracing ourselves for this transformation na utapata waamini wengi tumelala usingizi ni kama hatuoni kabisa na hatujiandai kuvaa mkanda kujua kwamba hali hii itakuwa mbaya na madhara yake yatakuwa makubwa kwa kanisa la Yesu Kristo god does not want you to be a victim in this scourge or in the events that will come after it god wants you to be a victor so that 
as you stand you are among those who will make it to the end Mungu ataki uwe mwasiriwa katika janga hili lakini anakutaka ya kwamba mwisho wa kila kitu upatikane miongoni mwa wale ambao watajipuka kama washindi Jesus said those who will endure to the end are those who will be saved Yesu anasema watakayevumilia mpaka mwisho ndio watakayeokoka The devastation of this disease itself uh, in itself is not the key thing that we should be really worried about. Ah uh, maambukizi yake ya hiyo magonjwa silo jambo sana la kututia wasiwasi mno. What we need to be aware of is the structures that are being created behind the scenes. Kinachohitaji kutusumbua ni mikakati na miundo misingi ambayo inawekwa chini ya kifuniko cha haya magonjwa the conspiracies that are being made jama ambazo zinawekwa the plans that are being made mipango ambayo inawekwa the platforms that are being created jukwa na ngazi zinazowekwa and the systems that are being put in place na mifumo inayowekwa because you need to know that those who have who are to uh, execute all the plans that are being done behind the scenes and those who are going to enforce them have already been put in place all over the globe nataka uelewa ya kwamba watekelezaji wa miundo misingi na njama zinazofanywa kichini chini washapangwa na wamepandwa kote kote duniani and they are already in even in your village there are ngos that have already been given these assignments na wanapatikana kote hata kwenye kijiji chako kuna asasi zisizo za serikali ama ngos ambazo zinapatikana kote uko na kuishi vijijini you may not be aware that they are there they are helping you they are doing good things and you think that this is a good organization but their agenda is very sinister na we mwenyewe utasema kwamba hayo mashirika yamekusaidia ni mashirika ya misaada wewe unaona wanakusaidia lakini kumbe wana agenda iliyo mbaya they are gathering information about you wanakusanya habari zinazokuhusu wewe and i want you to know that uh, it is not every ngo so don't take me wrong but what i'm saying is there are some of these people that have been put in place specifically to make sure that the agenda of the new age movement and the new world order is going to be uh, precisely executed in the right places na nataka usinichukue makosa simaanishi ya kwamba yale mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali ama NGO yote yanahusika lakini kuna baadhi ya mengine ndani mwake wakifanya kazi ya kuwasaidia wana makusudi ya kuhakikisha kwamba wamekuweka wewe sambamba katika kutimiliza uh, mipango ya utawala mpya wa kiulimwengu brace yourself for the diabolic agendas jiandae jiami kuhusu zile ajenda za kishetani that will bring the church into the eye of the storm ambazo zitaleta kanisa uh, mbele ya macho ya mateso mengi this is not the time to underrate the impact of what is going on in the world today he ni yakuweza kukueleza kwamba usiweze kupuuza mambo yanayofanyika duniani sasa hivi we can hold on to faith presumptuously tunaweza kushikilia imani kwa hali vuguvugu usiyokubanisha you are not equipping yourself with the right information to enable you know what to do when you're supposed to do it yani kwamba uh, hauchukui manani kuweza kusingatia mambo yatakaye kuimarisha unapostahili kufanya hivyo this moment what is happening and i want to just advise my fellow pastors and ministers of the gospel yes we are we are desiring to have our churches gather together we want to meet and have fellowship one more time but i want you to know this things are not yet but as we are doing that please prepare yourself prepare the members of the church because these are perilous times wachungaji wenzangu nataka nikushauri ya kwamba 
hata tunapoomba kwamba tuweze kurejelea kukutana tena huenda kidogo ikachukua muda lakini jambo la muhimu kwako wewe ni kujiandaa jivishe maarifa inayotosha wanao wa shirika wako many many governments across the world they are not they are no longer independent they are governed by certain systems and the deep governments that give them orders on what to do because if they don't do that they will not be helped to uh, to manage their nations and so they are controlled somehow and so if you try if you are trying to make yourself probably uh, a hero you may suffer and you you may be blamed for yourself ah uh, kwa hivyo wapendwa sikizeni a uh, serikali nyingi sasa za ulimwenguni azijiendeshi yani hazina uhuru wa kujiendesha ni kwa sababu zimewekwa chini ya mifumo fulani na zinaongozwa na kupewa maagizo kutoka mali kwingine kwa hivyo ukijifanya kwamba utakuwa shujaa kuna vile unaweza ukajipata mashakani but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't stand out as the body of Jesus Christ lakini hiyo haimaanishi tusimame tusisima, wima kama mwili wa Kristo Yesu we have to be bold ni sharti tuwe wajasiri we must defend our faith na tuitetee imani yetu we must fight for our faith tupiganie imani yenu but i'm yetu. saying this you have to be prepared lakini ninachosema tujihami how ready are we as the body of jesus cross in this nation tuko aje tayari kama mwili wa kristo katika hali tunayopitia because there are plans to attract the whole world into a new global system maana kuna mipango ya kuvuta ulimwengu mzima katika mfumo mmoja wa kuendesha ulimwengu these are perilous times nyakati tunamoishi ni nyakati hatari and so we have to be prepared because if we are not prepared things will find us unawares tusipojiandaa tutapatwa bila ya kujua my agenda today is to encourage you get to know the lord more than you have ever known him before agenda yangu siku ya leo ni kukutia moyo mpendwa pata kumjua bwana zaidi vile umemjua awali spend enough time in his presence chukua muda mwingi katika uwepo wa Mungu understand what is his mind concerning your life elewa mawazo ya bwana juu ya maisha yako because in this last days god has a good plan also our god is not just sitting there watching the wicked men and women who are sitting there to craft things against these children and is doing nothing about it nataka ole mungu ana mipango mema kwetu sisi usimdhani mungu ni mtu mungu yule ambaye anakaa kando akiona watu waovu wakibuni miundo na mipango mibaya juu ya watoto wake na haiti kwamba afanye chochote but now you need to be there so that you can hear his voice lakini itakubidi nawe uwepo karibu na Mungu. The Bible says in the last days in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 in the last days the house or the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be lifted above every other mountain. Isaiah 2:2 anasema itakuja kutimia siku za mwisho ya kwamba mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana utainuliwa juu ya milima na vilima. And all other hills shall come to the mountain na milima mingine yote itajia katika mlima wa men will run and flock to the mountain of the lord watu watakimbia mataifa wakielekea mlima wa bwana and so there is going to be definitely a revival and a mighty move of god in this last days that god is going to use men and women like you who are spending ample time in his presence to receive divine instructions na kwa hivyo inamaanisha kutakuwepo na uvivio mkubwa na mwamko mkubwa Mungu atakwenda kuwatumia waume kwa wake ambao wanatumia muda wao mwingi katika uwepo wake God wants you to know as Daniel said in the book of Daniel chapter 11 he says that and the people that know their God they shall be strong na, na Mungu anataka ujue kama imeandikwa katika Daniel 11 ya kwamba na siku hizo wataka mjua Mungu wao watakuwa hodari na kutenda mambo makubwa Remember those are the days of a lot of flattery Nakumbuka hizo ni siku za 
watu wa mambo ya kujipendekeza it will be a days of many deceptors yani itakuwa ni nyakati ya wadanganyifu wengi there are so many people who will also fall away from the grace wapo wengi wataanguka kutoka kwa neema but the bible says the people that know their god lakini inasema wamjua Mungu wao they shall be strong watakuwa hodari they shall be bold watakuwa wajasiri they shall do exploits watatenda makuu you shall arise above every other person Hutainuka juu ya kila mtu mwingine. I came to tell you when others are bowing you shall stand up. Nasema wengine wakisujudu utainuka. Because what is being introduced is idolatry. Kinacholetwa ni ibada ya sanaa so that you can bow before it. Ili uiname mbele yake. That you can worship the god of this world. Etu mabudu Mungu wa dunia hii. But we have a god in heaven. Lakini tuna Mungu mbinguni. Who is going to stand with you? Atake simama pamoja nao. He says when wickedness increases on the face of the earth. Anasema maazi yakiongezeka duniani. My grace will even more abound towards you. Neema yangu itawazidieni. So as you stand in the Lord, unaposimama katika Bwana, you need to begin praying for more grace. Omba kwa ajili ya neema zaidi. That God's grace will abound towards you. Kwamba neema ya Mungu itakuzidia. That you'll be able to endure the last days. Utaweza vumilia nyakati za mwisho. The challenges of this times that we are entering in because deceiving spirits are going to be manifest even more there are lots of battles that may rise against your life because the spirit and the characteristics of the end times are going to be more evident and the, the pain is going to be even more to the believers ongezeka kutakuwa na machungu zaidi kwako mwaminio a time is coming wakati unaja that you have to declare who you are itabidi utangaze msimamo wako ni nani this is not the day for the, 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 the those who are lukewarm in the lord <laughs> Hizi sio siku za watu vuguvugu katika Bwana. These are days for those who will stand out. Hizi ni nyakati za wale watakaosimama kutambulika. Finally brethren the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5. Hatimaye wapendwa Biblia inasema katika Warumi 5. Therefore having been justified by faith. Tukiisha hesabiwa haki kwa imani. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tuna imani kwa Mungu kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in ambaye, which we stand. Ambaye kwa yeye tumepata kwa njia ya imani uh, kufikia neema hii ambayo mnasimama ndani yake. And rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Na kufurahi katika tumaini la utukufu wa Mungu. Verse three says and not only only that but we also glory in tribulation wala sio hiyo tu ila tunafurahi katika dhiki pia knowing that our tribulation produces perseverance ukijua kuwa dhiki kazi yake ni kuleta saburi and the perseverance builds up our character na kazi ya saburi ni udhabiti and the character brings forth hope na udhabiti wa moyo ni kazi yake ni kuleta tumaini now hope does not disappoint na tumaini halitahayarishi because the love of god kwa maana pendo la Mungu has been poured out in our hearts nimekwisha kumiminiwa katika mioyo yetu by the holy spirit who has given us Uh, who, who was given to us you need to know that the things that we may have to endure in the next few days is building up our godly character welewe kwamba vitu ambavyo tutavistahimili siku hizi tunazoishi sasa vitakuwa vinajenga tabia ya Mungu ndani yetu once again it is building up stamina in our hearts inajenga udhabiti wa moyo kwetu so you'll have to persevere hivyo lazima as you rejoice in tribulation ukifurahia katika dhiki because this is what god has intended of us to be a people who can make a difference in our generation hili ndilo limekusudiwa na mungu kwetu sisi ili tuwe ni watu watakaoleta tofauti nyakati zetu there has got to be a people who will stand out and those who will fall down lazima kuepo na watu watakayosimama imara na wapo wengine watangusha but those who will endure to the last 
Lakin hata mwisho. They shall be saved. Wataokolewa. I pray that you be among those who will be saved. Naomba kwamba uwe miongoni mwa wale You shall not be a victim but you shall be a victor. Hautakuwa mwasiriwa utakuwa mshindi. Expect the best from the Lord. Tarajia mema kutoka kwa Bwana. Even though the worst may be coming. Hata ingawa mabaya huenda yatakuja. I want you to look forward to God's divine intervention. Nataka utazamie msaada wa Mungu. Because as things are moving towards the close of age mambo yanapokaribia kufunga nyakati the, the lord jesus is going to make your life even better yesu kristo atafanya maisha yako because he's not zaiti. coming uh, for a church that is defeated running away he's coming for a glorious church haji kwa kanisa loogopa linatoroka anakuja kwa kanisa lenye utukufu he's coming to a winning team anakuja kwa timu ambayo inashinda Jesus is coming to a glorious people Yesu anakuja kwa watu wenye utukufu so maintain your status of holiness kwa hivyo dumisha hali yako ya utakatifu be sanctified takasika so that in everything that you do always have this memory that Jesus is coming soon hili yote unayofanya kuwa na ukumbusho ndani yako kwamba Yesu atakuja. That's why the, the church in the New Testament uh, when they began in the first century they kept on saying to one another maranatha because they knew that the time has come Jesus is coming. Na kanisa la kwanza walikuwa wakimisana wakisema maranatha maana yake Yesu yuko karibu. So we have to know that we are already set for his coming. Kwa hivyo lazima tujue tumejiandaa kwa kuja kwake. But as much as we have not seen, seen him coming, let's continue doing the work of the kingdom. Na tukiwa tunamtizamia anakuja, sisi tuendelee kufanya kazi ya ufalme. Don't just sit there and they say they said he's coming in the month of April. Jesus may not come in the month of April because there are still a few things that must be accomplished before he's coming for the church. Usikae pale na usingizi tu ya kwamba Yesu atakuja April. Aje April maana kuna kazi ambayo lazima tukamilishe ndio aje. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Bwana akubariki kuhifadhi and make you strong in this time of tribulation. Akufanye imara katika nyakati za mateso. We are not going to be in the great tribulation but we are going to experience a bit of this end time perils. Ah uh, atutakuwa nyakati za dhiki kuu lakini tutapitia mambo tunayo tutayapitia. May the Lord keep you. Bwana kudumisha. In Jesus name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. I love you. Nakupenda. The grace of God abound towards you. Neema ya Bwana ikuzidi. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba, may you Yesu. equip your sons and daughters. Waifuavisha wanao na mabinti. Fortify them for these days. Watie nguvu siku hizi. That they'll not be harassed, they'll not be overwhelmed and they're not going to live the fear that life of fear and anxiety. Hawataishi maisha ya hofu na vitisho. But they'll keep on looking unto you the author and the finisher of our faith. Watakutizamia mwanzilishi na mtimizaji wa imani. You are able to do it exceedingly abundantly far above what we are expecting ourselves. May you release the blessing upon this family. In Jesus name. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. We thank the partners and friends of Redeemer's Voice Media for making this program possible.